Angel explains. My costly kid these days is a present, made only for you. To claim this gift, type amen. This isn't simply another day in a long string of days. It's a special occasion, a blank slate waiting for you to write your own unique narrative. Every daybreak brings a new beginning, and it is shining even brighter for you right now. Keep in mind that I send you a message every morning to remind you that there are endless possibilities in life. On days like this, you get to enjoy a carefree day when everything falls into place, just the way you want it to. The breezes carry optimism, and the bird song is a private delight. I am writing from 1919 to confirm that I have witnessed your hardships and periods of uncertainty. Tears well up in your eyes as you confront difficult conditions. Yet, today, my kid is a game. Changer, you will no longer feel its weight pressing down on you. Some of the ominous clouds will begin to split, allowing you to see a glimpse of optimism. You possess an innate power and resilience, tested but never broken. Your spirit is fierce, like that of a warrior who has fought lifestyle stones with grace and tenacity. In these latter days, that character trait will be more evident than ever before. Every now and again, your worries will push your smile to the back of your mind. This time, however, it won't be a passing grin. Rather, it will be a genuine, heartfelt smile that lights up your face and fills everyone around you with warmth. The joy of a child's giggle the scent of a flower in full bloom or the caress of a light wind are all tiny things that you may find these days. For you, such simple joys will evoke strong memories of the inherent beauty. Challenging circumstances may arise, although they may seem manageable today. You will confront them with a revitalized sense of strength, mental clarity, and an optimistic outlook, your unique set of skills, the many challenges you have overcome, and the triumphs both great and little that have shaped your adventure type will all be brought to light. Please, God, if you have faith in God's timetable, my darling, every contact today might be a chance to spread optimism and compassion. You will be showered with love and compassion, and it will come. Coming full circle, manifold. The cosmos has a knack for rewarding sincere souls, and you are about to experience the enchantment of that reality. All of them, from the most monumental to the most minor, are evidence of my love for you. And today, more than ever before, you will feel that love surrounding you, directing you, and elevating you. So take a moment to reflect on this for your own benefit. Reach out to those in your life and provide a word of encouragement. Today, even the smallest acts of kindness, like lending a helping hand or listening with an open heart, may have a huge impact, and not only on people who there are times when you feel alone on your journey, but know that I've always been there for you. Now, more than ever, you can feel my presence in the sun's warmth, the leaves rustling, and the quiet whispers of your heart. If you believe in Jesus, believe in yourself, and know that you are capable of greatness, my child, then today is a testimony to that. The universe is conspiring on your desire and every second is you are here today to shine, smile, and bounce, and you are full of potential. Every task is within your reach. Accept it with an attitude of appreciation and the firm conviction that better times are just around the corner. Keep going, because you know that this is only the beginning. Every day that passes will be better, more beautiful, and full of more promise than the one before. You are now enjoying my perks. Remember how much I love you. 
and how much I value this moment in time by always holding on to it. With a gracious amen, I vow that the wonderful things will return. With all its mystery and wonder, God whispers to his beloved child, my darling. Life is an adventure, and every day is a lesson waiting to be understood. If you believe in angels, with the hopes that you would discover joy, inspiration, and your best self-revelation. I built this voyage for more than simply lives. Gazing at your immediate surroundings is a good place to start. In addition to being a source of heat in the sky, the rising sun represents fresh starts every morning. You have a fresh start every day. Take into consideration that life is not just about the destination, but the journey. It is the little diversions, the unexpected twists, and the picturesque pathways that make the journey worthwhile. Take a risk to start again. Establish new aspirations and pursue objectives with a revitalized spirit. These are the times when you will learn priceless lessons. Find happiness and uncover parts of yourself that you did not know existed. From time to time, life might seem like a jigsaw puzzle with pieces that don't look good. Yet, stick around. Everything you encounter, from tasks to obstacles, has a purpose. They could be crafted to test you, mold you, and ultimately guide you to your ideal self. As time passes, each piece will fall into place, creating a breathtaking picture that narrates your unique tale. If you want to start amassing big sums of money immediately, you may learn the shocking riches secrets discovered by a disgruntled NASA scientist by clicking the link in the comment section below. Many individuals may cross your path on your journey. Some will stick around for a while, while others will be gone in an instant. No matter how long they've been a part of your lives, everyone has something to teach you. Embrace these experiences, learn from them, and treasure the connections you make in our fast past globalized world. Remember to pause and enjoy life. Getting lost in the midst of all the activity and never-ending lists of things to do is perfectly normal. But every once in a while, you need to take a moment to yourself to reflect and reconnect with your inner self. Indeed, I have faith in God's plan. Eventually, it is in these times of reflection that that you may come to understand. In order to understand how to prioritize what is really important, you must first recognize the true wants of your heart. What you love to do and what you're passionate about are more than just hobbies. They're guiding you toward your life's fulfillment. Delve into them thoroughly. Learn things. Put yourself to the test and express yourself with them. These wants Respected pastimes have evolved into vital pathways to self, discovery, and the things that keep you going. Evaluate your skills and experience. Unfortunately, egotism may also get in the way of good judgment when it comes to setting goals and objectives. You have a strength inside you that is greater than any obstacle you may encounter. This power will help you face the future with confidence. Tap into that power, accept it, and let it lead you to your finest decision. Whether a journey is filled with pleasure or sorrow, it always offers lessons, opportunities for development, knowledge, and self-discovery. Be a part of such moments. They might lead you to a life that is fulfilling and rational, although external factors might have an impact on your pleasure. My darling, ultimately, it is up to you to decide how you will choose to see things. You may choose to look for the positive side of things, find the lesson in every challenge, and celebrate every success by changing your attitude and doing action that brings you pleasure. In the long run, it's not the things you own or the recognition you get that really matter. Rather, it's the experiences you've had the people you've helped, and the legacy you've left behind. Ways of life are a precious gift. 
in the midst of your daily tasks and obligations. Do not let it whiz by. Embrace each moment, hold on to them tightly, savor them, and work hard each day to maintain. Draw out your best qualities. Your path is unique and entirely yours, but know that I am by your side every step of the way, directing, supporting, and encouraging you. My darling little one often reminds me to look within, to be honest with myself, and to remember that the best is yet to come. You are demonstrating your strength with every breath you take and step you take in every job you tackle. Your life's path has been filled with courageous storms, mountain climbs, and desert crossings. Nevertheless, you question yourself and feel crushed by the weight of your responsibilities on a daily basis. Say it with an amen if you're going abroad, but remember that you have power within. This is enormous. The energy you've been hoarding from your lessons, exams, and trials. It will carry you through the days when you feel weak and helpless, reminding you that you are strong and capable. The ups and downs of existence are a part of it. In the vast labyrinth of life, it's easy to feel disoriented at times. Keep in mind that your value is incalculable whenever you have moments of uncertainty and self-doubt. From now on, you are more than just a dot in. The universe is a beautiful, unique and irreplaceable beacon of light. It's easy to compare yourself to others, thinking they've done more or are better, but remember that you are on your own unique journey and that your value does not diminish depending on someone else's. Embrace your purpose and let your laughter, tears, and acts of kindness add to the tapestry of the universe. As for me, I trust in God. No one else can match the unique blend of skills, interests, and perspectives that you bring to the table. The influence of your presence, ideas, and actions on others is far-reaching and difficult to fully understand. You have been embraced by a love that is deep, immense, and unconditional, my child. There have been times when you have felt alone, wondering whether anybody knows or cares. It's the kind of love that doesn't care about distance, time, or fate. These days, people appreciate you, not only for what you've accomplished or what you own, but for who you are as a whole, from your your flaws are praised for the strengths they contain. This love will never fade or wane. It is everlasting. As you go on your path, I feel both limitless and unsure. Some of the people you meet will love you just as much, and they may serve as role models, cheerleaders, and affirmations of your value. Hold dear such ties since they are manifestations of the unconditional love from on high. Do not skip this video. Please watch it to the finish. On the other hand, remember that it is crucial to cultivate this love inside yourself. Always have someone rooting for you and supporting you. Accompany your value and provide a hand. Recognize your abilities and be understanding when you fail. You can't expect to love the industry with the same intensity that you love yourself. You have my gratitude. No matter how many times you face adversity, you always come out on the other side stronger, wiser, and more resilient. Those aren't just obstacles. They're chances to grow and demonstrate your true power. Your value should never be defined by the market in accordance with society's standards, expectations, and... The value of your essential worth is constant, unlike passing judgments. Your essence is like an unquenchable flame, a light that glows brightly even on the darkest of nights. Every person you meet, every experience you have, and every obstacle you overcome is a chapter in your unique story. Please, God, a tale of price power and enormous love, in case you were wondering. Be proud, be confident, and know that you are making a difference, my baby, inside the vast fabric of you are more than a chance to me. You are a love, strength, 
and priceless strand of golden thread. Always remember that you are precious beyond measure and that you should shine brightly and passionately. According to God, my precious child, you were and always will be my beloved from the minute your heart began its rhythmic dance until the moment you breathed your first breath. I feel the rhythm of every breath, the weight of every thought, and I treasure each one. Your very being isn't a random chance occurrence. You've come with logic and affection, your unique combination of accuracy. Voice, spirit, and heart makes you stand out among the billions of souls in the cosmos. You have the power to overcome the storms that lurk within you, like self, doubt, fears, and those self-destructive thoughts that occasionally obscure your vision. Remember that these aren't your truths, but rather temporary shadows, and that you have the joy and strength to overcome them. Every emotion, from smiles to tears, tells a story that is uniquely yours. Sometimes you may feel like you're not enough and suffer from feelings of loss. Trying to figure out how you can be more, do more, or acquire more. But my darling, your happiness isn't necessarily defined by how well you perform compared to others or what the industry expects of you. Your real value is found in who you are as an individual. Sometimes it seems like the world is out to get you. It wants you to conform to its standards, go down its predetermined routes and meet its predetermined demands. Please, Lord, heal me, but know that you are not limited to these categories. You are free to forge your own path to personal satisfaction and to embody your unique. Embark on a journey with your powerful ideas. They shape your days, your reports, and your fate. While doubtful thoughts try to come in, you must nourish them with positive thoughts, wishes, and love. Then you must challenge these thoughts with the realities of your health, your strength, and the love that envelops you. Display items that serve as constant reminders of your charge. In times of despair, those who uplift you and provide encouraging feedback may serve as guiding lights, helping you see your value and bringing you out of the shadows. Every challenge you encounter, my darling, is a chance to grow. It's a chance to learn and adapt. You get stronger, smarter, and more in sync with your purpose, with every obstacle you overcome, no matter how scary they may seem at the time. God willing, type amen. If you have faith in God, your path is special, not because it's trouble, free, but because God uses you just as you are, flaws and all, to shape you into the person he always meant you to be. Keep in mind the following as you embark on this journey. Regarding which I am not alone, your guiding hand is always at your side, knowing your beyond, your gift and your destiny, as well as your worries, desires and capabilities, and is also cognizant of the difficult circumstances you face. Think of it as a guide, since it knows you better than you know yourself and it will reward your efforts and acknowledge your successes. Your journey, my darling, is a lovely medley of delight and sadness, a successful setback, the ups and downs of love and grief are like a travel map. They're making you who you are while also teaching you to embrace the love and support around you. This is Amidst the soft murmur of leaves in the wind and the chirping of birdsong, it resides in the joyous sound of a child's laughter, the generosity of a complete stranger, and the comforting embrace of a loved one. This affection is proof of your true value. It's a constant reminder that you're treasured, esteemed, and respected. You are supported by a community, both visible and invisible who believe in you, encourage you, and are by your side. 
every step of the way. Trust in them. Share burdens and let their love and energy drive you on. The beauty of your trip lies in the fact that it is uniquely yours and mine. Enjoy yourself, your landmarks. Always keep your heart fixed on what you seek and learn from your mistakes, even when faced with those who want to bring you down. Remember that you are stronger than your intellect. You are a beautiful harmony of love, strength, and possibility. Whenever uncertainty arises, remember the little voice urging you on. You mean the world to me, and I adore you more than words can express. Spend some time getting to know who you are. In thankfulness, you will find periods of silence and contemplation. In addition to healing you, they will transport you to a place of tranquility and... Your life is a gift, a fabric created by the connections you've made and the stories you've lived. Treasure it, tend to it, and keep in mind your value. Every task can be overcome Every goal, no matter how lofty, may be achieved. In every decision you make, every step you take, and every desire you pursue, you have the power to surpass all restrictions when you let love be your compass and perception your guiding force. Think about all the ways you are loved, appreciated, and purposeful. Get rid of those destructive ideas if you trust in God's power. Let your kind side show brightly and embrace your truth. From the minute you were born into this world until the many sunrises and sunsets you have seen, I have been a part of your life's narrative, says God, my precious child, from the smoothest of paths to the most treacherous of terrains. My presence has been a constant, unchanging thread throughout your journey. Even when you felt totally alone, I was there to support you. When you've been having fun, my darling, my footsteps have been there by your side, directing and supporting you. I enjoyed myself while we were together. The laughing, the partying, and the seemingly unending days of joy. You felt little and insignificant as the stadium became apparent, fast, and overpowering, and I was there to share in your excitement and happiness in your internal times of uncertainty, subtly reassuring you of your strength and well-being as you faced the challenges of the arena. When every door looked locked and darkness obscured your eyesight, I was there by your side. Shine a light on your path ahead and put up a defensive front over there. I have felt your sorrow your disappointment and your anguish with every tear you have cried. Your suffering has not been little. Even when you weren't aware of it, my warm hug encircled you in those times of being alone when you were feeling down. I used to be your safety net, there to cheer you on, celebrate your courage, and make sure nothing bad happened while you reflected on your experiences and sought answers. Meaning, and reason while you fearlessly confronted new challenges, unknowns, and risks. I attempted to guide you with my voice, along with wisdom, understanding, and direction for your inquisitive spirit. God is with me. My hand was always there for you, gently guiding you so that you never truly veered off course in any of the relationships you've built, bonds you've maintained, or connections you've established, even when you felt lost or unsure of your path or future. I have been pouring love and understanding into the unions as I bless them. There are many highs and lows in life. Through highs and lows, pleasures and tragedies, my presence is constant, not as a dominating force, but as a kind guide always ready to help, encourage and be like. Keep in mind, my darling, that your path is unique. It is replete with directions, tales and experiences that may be yours alone. 
Yet you are, in fact, never really alone on it. In those peaceful times, I am with you every step of the way. Inside the whisper of the wind, the rustling of leaves, I will be there for you when the sector fades and all that remains are your thoughts. I am there most of the time, talking and connecting with the leaves and the wave rhythm. I am here for you every step of the way, offering strength, perseverance, and hope for a better future, and hope for a better future. And every task you take on is a chance to... Your faith, no matter how little, is what binds us together. It's what lets you feel my presence, see my guidance, and be my love type. Yes, if you adore the powerful Jesus, this one reality will serve you well as you prepare for your journey, no matter how dire the circumstances. Whether it's a joyful moment, a sad time, or a period of uncertainty, my little child, I'll be right there with you, directing you and loving you every step of the way. God says, in every breath, in every silent desire, I see you. In life, you will face challenges, and you will also have times of growth. Tomorrow will be the moment for you if you put your faith in God's timetable. Money is pouring into your bank account in a substantial quantity. The topic of money has obviously been on your mind. Over the years, you have often considered the economic situation has me wondering when things will finally start to improve. I can only imagine the hardships you've endured, the restless nights and the general air of uncertainty. Nevertheless, tomorrow something new is waiting for you. Why we've decided to do things this way may surprise you. Keep in mind that I have my reasons and that the journey of life is full of surprises. You made it through the necessary lessons in perseverance, thoughtfulness, and resilience with poise and determination. In the peak days of silver, your wealth is a testament to your faith and a tribute to your patience. Goodness eventually finds a way, and there are silver linings. This is an indication that when you match with the divine plan, things align in ways you could never have thought. It's not just about cloth advantage, but there is a duty that goes along with this favor. Be precise while using it. As you are aware, it has the ability to create money, while the future may mend broken hearts, open doors to new opportunities, and fill us with delight. It can also shatter if we aren't careful and wise. My advice is to be true to the principles that led you here and use them to inform your decisions. To secure your future, consider individuals in your immediate vicinity, including those who have tolerated your abuse, those who are in need of your assistance, and even those you do not fully comprehend. Spreading charity and compassion is equally important. Like it is going to change your life, this blessing has the power to change someone else's life as well. Also, keep in mind that true riches isn't only about having money in the bank. It's about the love you give, the memories you make, the people you meet, and the legacy you leave behind. Your methods of remembering have always been abundant. This financial gain is but one aspect of it. Keep your pride in check. You and I both know that you are valued, yet it's easy to become excited and think that this money is all that matters. Kindness, honesty, passion, and love are the four cornerstones of who you are. Money is merely a tool. It can't define you. In addition, the ability to make choices is enhanced when more resources are available. Some may be simple, while others may test your personality. The question is, this choice should usually be your first consideration. Is it true to my character, in line with my principles, and just right? You should not miss this video. Feel free to stay till the very end. Life will always be full of highs and lows. Having this much money won't guarantee you a carefree existence. 
but it may provide you more freedom and comfort. Dear child, it is essential that you continue to cultivate your inner strength and rely on your faith, just as you have in the past. Just as you have in the past, at times, it seems as if things magically fall into place inside the vast fabric of reality. Just now, you may be able to pinpoint your self-status just on the edge of this face. Unexpected possibilities may soon be pounding on your door. You may be experiencing an overpowering sense of affluence and success, or you may be receiving an unexpected and maybe unforeseen influx of funds. I keep in mind that this can seem strange or even unreal to you. In the ebb and flow of life, there are times when a flood of blessings seems too good to be true, but have faith in the process. I have a cunning strategy that includes those times of wealth and blessings. If you want God's blessing, you have to like this video. My darling, you have faced difficult times and come out on top. A lesson was derived from the experiment. Each disappointment serves as a stepping stone to a greater triumph, and every setback is an opportunity for growth. It is a testament to your faith, strength, and perseverance that you are standing here now, surrounded by unexpected chances and plenty. A responsibility, however, comes along with these new opportunities. Those with high ambitions and the knowledge to handle them get gifts from the cosmos and everything in it. Therefore, include thankfulness, modesty, and awareness into this stage. Make good use of the opportunities and resources available to you so that they enrich not just your life, but also the lives of people around you. It's easy to become naive in the face of unexpected wealth, but remembering to be grateful can help you keep your feet firmly planted on solid ground while you enjoy these good times, rather than seeing them as rights. A stronger connection with everything around you helps you make decisions based on feelings of love rather than just choose. And while it's only natural to want to cling to your good fortune, remember that generosity isn't always about hoarding. It's also about sharing letting your blessings flow outward so that you can become a conduit for prosperity and keep the flow of good fortune unbroken. Even as you celebrate this stage, remember that life has its own unique method of teaching humility. Remember that those times of abundance are fleeting, just as those of scarcity, in which the love you share, the compassion you exhibit, and the desire you inspire are more important than the opportunities you acquire or the money you have. Also, keep nurturing your desires. These unexpected possibilities are fantastic, but you shouldn't let them lead you astray or make you lazy. Take use of them as stepping stones to bigger goals, but never let your intermediate values go to the wayside. Little pleasures, like sharing laughter, with a loved one, feeling the heat of a hook or taking in a breathtaking sunset are where true happiness is found. These are the kinds of experiences that can only enrich one's spirit. With more options and resources at your fingertips, you may find yourself at crossroads more often during these times. Go inside and look to the heavens for direction. Follow the direction of your inner compass which may be aided by religion and self-awareness. In particular, know that even when you doubt, you are never really alone on this journey. In times of uncertainty, know that I am here to guide and love you. You are not alone on your journey. There is a larger plan with love lessons and benefits. Stick to the path with faith, love, and modesty. Enjoy life to the fullest. Share what you have, and never compromise your authenticity. Know that you are loved infinitely and forever. There is no time when I am not loving, guiding, and supporting you. Please, God, 
beloved child of God. Treasure this gift, put it to good use, and keep shining brightly because you love Jesus. In light of his presentation, God regarded him with, My darling, I have told you that one of the keys to attracting prosperity is the abundance of love I feel for you, and my love for the cosmos is boundless. Being grateful and appreciative in the here and now is the path toward you. Lie. Not in some faraway future, but at this very second, from the gentle morning light to the kind grin of a stranger. The sector is brimming with limitless tiny and big benefits. There are many opportunities to experience joy in life, but it's tempting to get preoccupied with seeking them out. Instead of waking up every day, moaning about what you don't have, start with an act of thankfulness for what you have. You'll be amazed at how much you already have. Express gratitude to the universe for blessing you with another day to enjoy the oxygen you breathe, the food you consume, and the shelter that keeps you secure. These are benefits that have been around for a long time. Focusing on what you have allows a change to manifest in your emotions and thoughts. You start to see the arena as a place of limitless plenty rather than a place of lack. Thoughts of appreciation fill the mind. As you go about your day, it becomes a magnet that draws in even larger things to be grateful for. Whether it's a free seat on a crowded train, compliments from a co-worker, or a windfall of cash when traveling, make a mental note of the little moments of wealth. Those aren't just coincidences. They are the universe's way of showing you that plenty is everywhere. Keep in mind that money isn't always measured in terms of monetary assets. True riches come from having a full life filled with love, joy, contentment, and experience. You attract more than simply money success when you adopt a mindset of plenty. Plenty of money, but also more meaningful connections experiences, and insights. Giving is any other way to increase one's financial standing. Whether it's in the form of time, money, or love, when you give, you do it with an abundance attitude. The cosmos reciprocates by making sure your cup is overflowing. But what if difficulties arise? How can you maintain this attitude? Every way of life has its share of ups and downs. Gratitude takes on a deeper significance at such moments. You may firmly plant the seeds of optimism and perseverance by shifting your attention from what you've lost to what you have. Embracing God's journey requires resilience. In the vast fabric of life, my darling, do not be forgotten, God whispers. Everyone is acting for a reason. No matter how bad things become, they always bring a gift. In this case, the blueprint for even greater prosperity. Having abundance, themed decor around you is also helpful. Make it a nightly habit to write down three things you're grateful for in a gratitude journal. You could notice that the list expands as time goes on, painting a picture of a life full of advantages. Share the story of your journey of Show appreciation by putting less emphasis on your studies and more on theirs. By doing so, you will strengthen your principles, bring in more riches, and contribute to a developing awareness of plenty. Sharing in the joy of other people's achievements is equally crucial. You are sending a strong message to the universe when you celebrate the success of others, a message that there is enough for everyone. One incredible tool is visualization. Make time every day to close your eyes and imagine all the wonderful things that are happening in your life. The tales and riches you seek are attuned to your feelings. Perceive your knowledge and think it's on its way to you. Most importantly, 
Stay a person and have faith in God's time. Like a seed, wealth and prosperity don't often sprout right away. But much like a seed, with regular watering by appreciation, belief and action, you'll soon see the harvest of your efforts. As you ground yourself in thankfulness and acknowledge the bounty that exists already, God kindly reminds you, my beloved child, that the cosmos is limitless, and so are its benefits. The keys to even greater riches are yours to unlock. As you go out on this path of thankfulness, remember that I am always with you, guiding and providing, and live in the present moment. You will soon discover that riches, in all their bureaucratic glory, pour readily into your life if you let each day be a testimony to the vast cosmos. The point is, not to go there in particular, but to enjoy the ride there. When you use thankfulness as your North Star, the road ahead becomes a beautiful waltz of blessings and plenty. The communication from God serves as a reminder that we should always be mindful of the benefits that come our way, but we should also never forget the importance of the things that we offer to others. After all, abundance is a two-way street. Our thoughts often go to material goods when we consider plenty. Huge mansions, flashy cars, and stacks of cash are what come to mind when we think of real wealth. Yet this narrow perspective just scratches the surface. Genuine plenty is about the depth of our lives, our connections, and our souls, not simply material possessions. It is a fantastic experience to acquire hold of. We feel a deep sense of appreciation whenever we are showered with kindness, generosity, support, or even material possessions. The circle of plenty continues with giving, even after receiving these gifts, which may provide pleasure, security, and comfort. Picture a river. There has to be a means for water to exit the river, so it doesn't overflow and cause problems. When it comes to prosperity, the same is true. The equilibrium will be upset if we only take and do not provide, like a river nurtures the earth. Generosity helps us move with the flow of plenty. A chain reaction of generosity strengthens the community in which we live. No matter how big or little, helping others causes a positive chain reaction. Compared to receiving, giving may give me a sense of purpose and pride. Being able to change someone's life for the better brings a special kind of happiness. In case you were in need of this, type of men. It's okay to feel the pain, remember. Crying is normal. Leaning forward is okay. No matter how little, every tear and every moment of pain is a stepping stone on the road to recovery. How even the smallest step may lead to greater wisdom and serenity. I am no longer on this path alone. You are too. Love and light are always around you, even when you can't perceive it. Do some digging. The reassuring words spoken, the supportive hands offered to you, and the genuine care and concern shown to you will all stick with you. You may be experiencing a sense of defeat at the moment, but know that there will be times when you must persevere. Gradually, go forward. Whether or not we make the most of our time, each day brings with it the possibility of a fresh start. Bonds we form with other people, whether via love or other assets, serve as the bedrock of strong, mutually supportive communities. People often say that when we give, we get more of what we put out into the world. When we give, we start a positive feedback loop that eventually comes full circle. When we give, we learn to be more empathetic, more generous, and more selfless, all of which are virtues that improve our lives and help us see things from different angles. A domino effect of generosity may occur when we give to others, 
and they in turn give to us. The question then becomes how we might make donating a regular part of our lives. Donating old clothing or helping out a neighbor are two examples of little acts that may add up to a big impact. Volunteer for issues that really move you. Gaining people's attention isn't the only benefit. It also provides a sense of meaning in life. Someone else's day may be brightened by a smile, a kind observation, or even just a pleasant surprise. Show someone the ropes. Passing on knowledge is a gift that keeps on giving. Revive my life, Lord. Cultivate an attitude of thankfulness. It helps us develop an attitude that is open to receiving and giving, which is crucial for hearing God's message of wealth. It's comprehensive and deep. It's now about the intangible gifts we share with others as much as the material goods we gather. Complete the circle of plenty via the act of giving with all its many paperwork. We can live lives that are fuller, more meaningful, and purposeful when we learn and embrace this. Life is not simply improved when we donate for the sake of others and by extension, our own spirits, let us welcome the ambivalent character of wealth and find delight in both giving and receiving. Somewhere in the vast cosmos is a fundamental rule, my darling baby. Gratitude is the law of attraction's magnificent key. It's the magnet that pulls blessings of plenty, tranquility, and pleasure into your lives every instant from the air you breathe to the ground you walk on. The benefits are everywhere. Sometimes they stand out like a sore thumb, and other times they lurk in the most inconvenient places, just waiting to. To be abroad is to recognize these gifts, to pause and appreciate the dawn, the sound of a friend's laughter, the food on your table, or even your own heartbeat is to be blessed. Your awareness of plenty will no longer be lacking if you practice gratitude for what you have. More good fortune will find its way into your life as a result of this mental change. It's like a domino effect. The more thankful you are, the more reasons you find to be happy. Recall your benefits. Disregard your problems. There is a silver lining to every quest. An opportunity for growth, a lesson. Being thankful, no matter how bad things go, allows you to transform setbacks into opportunities for growth and prosperity. Start and end each day by being grateful. Take a moment to be grateful. Take a moment to be grateful for another day of life, love, an opportunity as you open your eyes. Then, when you shut them, reflect on the tiny victories of the day. A coronary heart full of gratitude may summon marvels with ease. The world is always trying to give you more, even as you appreciate what you have. It is an endless loop of good vibes. Thank everyone. Many thanks to everyone in your immediate vicinity, including family, friends, and even strangers sign up for channel if you're with Jesus then expressing your thanks aloud does double duty. It makes other people feel valued, and it strengthens your own feelings of thankfulness. Keep a gratitude journal. At the end of each day, jot down three things you're grateful for. You will amass an endless supply of advantages throughout time, serving as a constant reminder of the universe's abundance. Being kind turns what you have into more than enough. Because you are, and you have enough, appreciation is a powerful tool in a society that is always demanding more. Problems may arise, but being grateful for what you have helps you overcome them. It brings back fond memories of triumphs past, even if they were unanticipated, and it opens your eyes to the limitless opportunities that lie ahead. Be happy with the little things. Appreciate the little miracles in life like the sound of birdsong, the scent of freshly brewed coffee, or the sight of a child's pure joy on their face. 
since it is at these times that the universe expresses its love for you, borrowing your pleasure. Contrast may do. Remember, every person's path is unique. Celebrate the successes of others, but find joy in your own journey, which is filled with its own unique lessons and gifts. Proper health, loving relationships, mental clarity, and a fulfilled spirit are all components of an abundant life, not simply worldly prosperity. Expressing gratitude enables you to comprehend and attract this all, encompassing plenty. An expression of gratitude has tremendous power since it not only brings about more blessings, but also helps to repair broken relationships, but also helps to repair broken relationships. As a witness to plenty, Nature soothes the spirit and makes ideas understandable with its vast seas and uncountable stars. The abundance of life on Earth is reflected in the many plant and animal species. You will become one with this wealth if you learn to be grateful in nature. Always keep in mind that being thankful is the preferred option. You are in control of your concentration. You may choose plenty optimism and desire by choosing appreciation having enough also means having plenty to give distribute the benefits as they grow doing so makes you an inspiration to others and a magnet for their desire and generosity in addition to expanding your own wealth sticks and stones are another way of recognizing god every second the cosmos in its limitless knowledge, bestows rewards unto you. Gaining an understanding of this love from on high will help you unlock doors to even greater prosperity. The intricate web of events, reviews, and feelings that is life is a beautiful tapestry, my little kid. Expressing gratitude helps you stay rooted in a positive and abundant mindset. Promote this powerful feeling give it permission to influence your decisions your path and the way you spend your days you discover the universes with thankfulness abroad many acts of kindness and charity are waiting for your recognition dear loved one keep in mind that i the creator of the cosmos the author of all good things am much more competent than you are to bear the load you're carrying I am the deity responsible for splitting oceans, shifting mountains, and causing barriers to crumble. The deity who raised the dead, breathed new life into them, and transformed water into wine, is me. I am capable of handling any problem, no matter how big or complicated or how difficult the situation. May my tranquility envelop you as you lie down to sleep, let it ease your anxious mind and your racing heart. Put your worries and concerns in my hands. Think about how much more I can do than what you could possibly imagine. A miracle will happen in your life if you watch this video all the way to the end. My love for you will never stop, and you must know that. I want to make sure you're okay and care about you in any way possible. I am there for each of your sorrows, attentive to your prayers, and aware of all your heart's desires. There is nothing that God does not know. Your soul could feel revitalized as you open your eyes. You might feel more powerful than before, have more drive than before, and more drive than before, and rest well. My little baby, and on the morning of your resurrection, you will be renewed in spirit and ready to take on the world. Let me handle your issues as you unwind in my affection. My energy is here to assure you, and my tranquility is here to comfort you. Get on board with my schedule. Trust my wisdom and rely on my affection. As your God, you are also my beloved. To learn the shocking riches, secrets, and procedures uncovered by a disgruntled NASA scientist, check the link in the comment section below. 
if you want to start drawing enormous money easily right now. I understand the weight of the responsibilities you have as your writer. My darling, the strain on your eyes and the emotional scars on your heart are obvious to me. Your worries and problems are keeping you up at night, and I can feel your uneasiness when things become rough. Keep in mind that I am not alone. The two of us are always together. Through thick and thin, I have stood by your side through every challenge and triumph. When you were weak, I carried you. When you were ready to fall, I held you, and I remained by your side through every type of battle. Put your worries on me, since God is with me. Your coronary heart should be released from your toes. If you're worried about anything, your finances, your health, or a loved one, just give me what I need, and I'll take care of it, little one. Go to sleep. Find solace in my presence while you close your eyes. Let me paint as you sleep, clearing the tangles and smoothing the pathways. While you unwind, know that I'm arranging solutions, opening doors, and developing breakthroughs. I have experience with this and can do it again as soon as you awaken. Not only will you feel physically rejuvenated, but your mind will be revitalized as well. Plus, you'll feel better emotionally after confiding in me about your issues. Knowing that I'm campaigning for you will give you a fresh lease on life. You will be prepared to embrace new opportunities, overcome new challenges, and approach each day with a fresh perspective. Please agree with me, my little one, and say a prayer if you feel the need. Put your trust in my guarantee and know that I will be by your side while you face your anxieties and concerns. In general, think of me as your supplier, guardian, and God. You are also my healer, soother, and guide. In the past and in the present, I have been by your side. My darling kid, I may even be here with you someday. I know this has been a tough road for you to travel. I have seen your anguish and heard your screams. When you felt like the world was closing in on you, I know how you felt. The times when you questioned your ability to continue living. I understand the pain, the difficulties, and the sadness. With every cry and every heartbreak, I have been by your side. If you have faith in God, you should subscribe to the channel. Rest assured, however, that the difficulties you are now facing are at best transient. They may seem endless and overpowering at the moment, but in the big scheme of things, they may be preparing you for an even larger reward. Those trials are shaping, honing, and fortifying you, no matter how dark it gets. Keep in mind that the sun comes up after midnight. The most brilliant rainbows appear after the most violent storms. Keep believing. Even in the darkest of times, there is typically a glimmer of hope. Your tenacity, patience, and unfaltering faith have not gone forgotten if you believe in God. You will have to act quickly if you want to reap the rewards of your work. Your life is about to undergo a major transformation, a swap that will bring you plenty of advantages, happiness, and tranquility. Keep going, keep trusting, and keep believing your step forward is on, because beyond your wildest imagination, there will come a day when you will look back on those tough times and realize that they have been essential for your growth, that they were stepping stones that led you to a higher plane of existence, and that they have been the building blocks that form the wonderful person you are becoming. Both the horizon and the hardships are fleeting, but my word is eternal. The pain you've been experiencing is little compared to the happiness that's on the way. Put your trust in me and my judgment when I say this is true. May your previous hurts go into the distance as you prepare for a glorious future. 
and may my plan for your life be one of wishful thinking, tranquility, and plenty. The punishment is still on the way. May it be so. Do you want this? God says you'll go through a hard patch when you feel like you're in a valley and don't know when the peak will appear. However, the good news is that it's within the the valley where vegetation flourishes. Strength, resilience, and self-awareness are all enhanced there. It is at that place that you discover aspects of your personality that you were previously unaware existed. Your character is scrutinized and molded in that setting. You may finally understand the purpose of the season's trials when you witness their rewards in the near future. Better, more courageous, and smarter may be your outcome. Your capacity to love, acknowledge, forgive, and endure may have grown. And you could be more prepared to deal with whatever comes your way in fate Yes, your sufferings are transient, passing from season to season. Yet, my vow to you is permanent and unwavering. I'll never leave your side. I will always be by your side, never abandoning you. In me, you find solace and vitality, a constant source of assistance when problems arise. In my opinion, you may take my word for it. This is true. Please embrace it with an amen. So, my little one, keep going. The anguish you're experiencing will soon be replaced by joy. Laughter will replace your tears in no time. After overcoming obstacles, you will swiftly be able to reap the rewards. What seems like the end is really the start of something beautiful new. Chapter. On your way of life, maintain a strong faith and never give up hope. Just around the bend is your miracle. A better life is going to become yours. Prepare yourself to embrace your fate. Even better things are still to come. Wondering whether you're prepared. I know you're going through tough times. God says to his precious baby, I can feel your anguish because I want you fighting. Your worries and problems are evident to me. The restless nights of anxious thinking, the secret sobs when you feel no one else is listening, and the trials and tribulations that seem like a... This is a stepping stone that you have to climb. Its potential weight is something I'm aware of. You could feel challenged, chilly, and hardened by the stones. From the ground up, you could think the course is too lengthy and too tedious. Wherever this path takes you, I urge you to think about my plan for you. You are being shaped and refined by each stone. You can become stronger and more resilient with every challenge you face. There is an opportunity for your faith to grow and strengthen with each examination. Keep in mind that every bush, no matter how large or strong, was once only a little seedling. Life isn't simple just like the seed that had to push through the dust to reach the light. Amen. If you agree with God's design, remember, I'll be here for you through the good times and the bad, the happy and the sad, the successful and the unsuccessful. I am there in the lightest of times and the darkest of times, as constant as the sun's growth. My love for you is unchanging. I get that it's tough and that you may want to quit every now and again. But you shouldn't. You will include the difficulty in your story. You are becoming fit for the trials that lie ahead. Hope, wealth, and serenity abound in the future I have planned for you. Stay true to my word. Keep the fire burning. Maintain your forward momentum, even when the going becomes tough. Remember the rainbow that will follow the hurricane. I have a beautiful plan for your future that you won't be able to fathom. Have faith in me. Keep fighting. You studied more than you think you did. I bet you don't realize how tough you are. Maybe if I helped you, 
you could achieve your goal, keep your religion, hold on to your convictions and your dreams. Your turnaround is on the way. Your achievement is on the horizon. Get ready for an enchanting future. You're just experiencing it on the other side of the agony. Never lose sight of the fact that I am always at your side. By my side, you will find guidance, protection, and love. Please share this movie with everyone who might like it. Dearly beloved child, pay close attention as I reveal to you the purposes I have for your life, says God. You have been through so much pain. I can see the anguish, the tears, and the low points. Your struggles are not lost on me, and I can feel the intensity of the energy you're putting on. With the hope that things will go on, here's some news. Your tale is far from done. I am the creator of your lives, and I am writing a fresh chapter for you that is brimming with joy, healing, and financial rewards. Your past may have been filled with challenges, but your future will be filled with happiness, health, and success. To make it official, you must type amen, so be ready to have your life turned upside down. I am transforming your misery into joy, your illness into health, and your scarcity into plenty. As I rewrite your story, I am transforming your I will turn your trials into victories and your defeats into comebacks. I will not only restore what you've lost, but I will give you much more than that. When I fulfill all my promises to you, you will see many benefits accrue in your life. I am a God who accomplishes more than you could ever imagine or hope for. So you may rejoice in my constancy and have fun in my kindness. Rest easy with my child my pricey warranty. Specifically, I want to grant your request and offer you a future. I will shower you with blessings that all around you will be able to see and the wonderful things I'm doing to improve your lives will surprise you. A season of breakthroughs, miracles, and compassion selected by God is upon you. In case you desired God's benefits, then hold fast to your religion. Hold fast to your want and observe as I change your narrative to one of joy, healing, and financial wealth. I am bringing about complete change in your lives, and it has been a while since things turned around. You are the strength that I have placed inside you, according to God. You have the mental fortitude, commitment, courage, and faith to triumph against adversity blocks your view of the indomitable human spirit, which, when led by faith and love, can overcome insurmountable odds. You are stronger, more courageous, and more resilient than you give yourself credit for studying. In spite of what may seem like insurmountable hurdles, they may really be opportunities to get closer to the goal I've set for you. So don't let them discourage you. In the midst of every challenge, you are being shaped, polished, and strengthened for the journey ahead. Remember that, before you know it, the worst is over. Your hardships, sunrise, will pass. However, the power you gain and the teachings you learn will remain with you through all storms. Keep in mind that you have my support. In my arms, you will find refuge, strength, solace, and guidance. In times of despair, I am a light that guides you. And when you are weak, I am a rock that supports you. God is on my side. Stay trusting in me. Believe it to be real inside you. I am not alone. And you must realize this. You are very loved. And I am always here for you, ready to assist and guide you through the difficult times you're going through. Face. I swear to you that a lovely future lies ahead of you, one that is rich with love, success, and all the things you could ever want. This is your fate, and it's more incredible than anything you can imagine. Thus, you must press on, maintain your faith, and trust that your miracle is on the way. 
Your next move is on the horizon. You're almost there. Wait a little longer. Before serving, more than words can express. My feelings for you are immense. You are my precious little one, and I am happy for you. Keep in mind that you are more powerful than you seem, that you have accomplished more than you realize, and that by allowing me to see through your lens, overcome every form of love that God promises you will encounter on your life's path. There may be times when you feel unclear about your goal. You may feel lost or contemplative in the desert. But keep in mind that it is precisely at these trying times that your faith is put to the test and your strength is built. My love for you will never change, and I hope you know that, no matter what. I will be by your side every step of the way, lighting the route and directing your steps. Every cry, every anguish, and every prayer has been seen by me. The trait of lasting strength is what I value most in my pricey kid. Produces beautiful results, even when you can't see it, since there is a divine purpose to every season of life and every moment is interwoven into a larger scheme. Your academic pursuits are the threads that will eventually become a tapestry of your life. While some strands may be somber and difficult, others bright and joyful, all of them will come together to form an original work of art that is all yours. I have something more in store for you. A boon so great and a delight so deep that it will surpass all difficulties. Now you've faced it. A future filled with desire. It's a strategy for riches. I beg you to have faith and keep going even when everything starts to fit together like a jigsaw. Trust in me, as you have always done, and keep your senses sharp for the miracles I'm about to perform. You have just started your trip. My plans for you are going to be really delightful. Apologize for the delay. Everything will work out perfectly in the end, my beloved kid. Regardless of how you look at God's timeline, he says. My child. Do not let the weight of this world discourage you, for I am getting you ready for a future that defies all expectations. Every obstacle serves as a springboard for an opportunity to overcome it, and every challenge is a chance to deepen your faith. I have seen every hardship you have endured and every battle you have fought, and I can tell you without a doubt that it has all been for nothing your every tear has been heard. We have heard every one of your prayers. I am not deity. In the middle of everything that you're going through, I am right here with you. Give me your blessing. I'm relying on your... an improved future compared to your previous one. There are still good times ahead of you. Everything is coming together for your benefit, so agree with my finest timing. Your path has been everything but smooth my beloved, and I have seen each and every one of your steps. Recall all the challenges encountered. Every tear that has been shed has been molding you into the person you are meant to become. Your devotion will soon bear fruit. The time has come for this. Remember, my little one, that you were created to overcome, to live well, and to bloom in the face of adversity. Your trials have not been in vain. Rather, they have been preparing you for the rewards that are still to come. Goodbye, if you were in need of this. Your breakthrough is on the horizon, just as the sun rises after the darkest hour. You could get something for your faith, fortitude, and resolve. You will feel the pain and difficulty as you begin to see the fruits of your unfaltering faith in me. A life filled with joy, success, and tranquility is waiting for you. You will no longer be in need since I am your shepherd. Let me guide you. Regardless, however, waters I am able to. I can lead you to the path of justice if you would only restore your soul. 
Keep in mind that I have been privy to your supplications, seen your trials, and experienced your pain. There is purpose to your crying. Have faith that the night's sorrows will be replaced by the morning's pleasures. Hold fast to my timing, my plan, and my will. For I am the Lord your God, and I cause all things to work together for the good of those who love me and are called according to my purpose. Take it easy, my little one. Know that you are loved very much. Remain unwavering. I wish you the best as your journey moves on, overcoming obstacles and reaping rewards. A new style is on the way. If you agree, God says amen, my little child, be bold. I have fashioned you with the fortitude and perseverance of a champion with a heart as strong as theirs. You now possess an inner strength that is not based on fear, but on love, determination, and power. No, you're not just a conqueror. You may also feel the weight of the sector as a result of my devotion for you. There will be tests that will test your mettle and see how far you can push yourself. However, Keep in mind that true power is found in overcoming these challenges. You are maturing into your true self, the person you were meant to be, even while you face challenges. Feel the agony of solitude and the sting of loneliness all you want, but know that you are never really alone. We are one. When you need a safe haven and a source of strength, you can always count on me. As a friend, I am more loyal than a brother. I feel your suffering. I feel your pain. You are not alone. I know how hard it is. For every tear that you shed, I will be there. In my eyes, you will never be forgotten. Exactly where you need me, I am right here. Leading you along this path. Lean on me when you feel tired. Even if the road ahead seems insurmountable, keep in mind that I am using your perspective. My load is light, and my yoke is simple. In addition to providing comfort and ease, my primary role is to nurture you. Always keep in mind that there is a reason behind your selection. It is a divine calling. I promise you that no matter how hard things become, they aren't in vain. You never know. They could be laying the groundwork for a hopeful future where you thrive and emerge victorious. My darling, have courage. Belief in my strategy, timing, and affection for you are essential. There is a reason for your suffering, a goal to your conflict, and a prize for your loyalty. Resist the urge to give up. Never forget that you are a fierce fighter with an indomitable spirit. It is within your power to persevere, conquer, and come out on top. In a positive light, you are loved immeasurably, treasured beyond all understanding and led above all knowledge. Keep fighting. Be steadfast in your beliefs and show no mercy in the face of adversity. The triumph is already upon us. My child, you are mine. I am your God, your source of strength, and your refuge in times of darkness. My beloved kid, you are a fighter and a conqueror, much obliged for your time. Please consider subscribing to our channel so you can see more videos like this. If you found this one useful, in order to be alerted whenever we upload a new video, be sure you press the bell symbol. Please be cautious and we will meet you within the subsequent one.